gadgets live. Hey. Happy Thursday. Is it Thursday? Happy Thursday. I think Thursday, it's Thursday. I Hi, everybody. I'm we Josh from roundoutgadgets.com. Yeah. Pete's over here. Pete, our producer. Hello. Uh, it's for the end of the week. I can tell by the ever increasing stubble on my face. Uh, and we're doing some holiday paper crafts to spread joy and cheer amongst all the fun boys and girls. Whoop. Who want to do fun circuitry projects? Some maker look at tape. Look at that! Look at that! We're using our maker tape. Sure. These are free downloadable templates on our free. website. That's right. You can get these for the low, low cost of clicking on things. Clicking, click, 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 click. That's right. Like all of our templates, we have free versions. We also have multiple versions of these, both the colored version <laughs> with green, and, with green. <laughs> Hold it up. It's got the green. Oh, it's got green at the bottom. It's green screening <laughs> at the bottom. Okay. Um, and also black and white version, so you yeah. can uh, do all the coloring yourself. We have uh, actually a bunch for different holidays and festivals around this winter time. Although we have no winter solstice, Pete. I'm a little sad. We, we Maybe can make one. Log. I don't we know. We have various, various ones galore we've made yeah. um, from, for many different holidays and groups. So no matter what your flavor of cultural holiday is, there's something for you and your friends and family and small children. But we're making fun paper crafts, so... Uh, again, brown.gadgets.com. And you can also find us on these fun social media links. Yes, I know. We, we do share things on those when we make new templates. These are just some of the holiday ones we're cranking out right now because we're trying to get things out before December right? Uh, for a change so that people can actually then make them in December. But they're, they're, they're pretty fun and easy to do. And yeah. they're great for kids of all ages or classrooms or distance right? learning. If you I can't know. have kids together for a group, have them Zoom and make these. Josh, you know, there's there's like 20, there's over 25 people watching this, which is great because, you know what, they they get to see the stuff. But I'm just telling you, if you want to be the first to know about this stuff, well, right there, you need to follow us. He's really using that new microphone he got. That's... It's actually a microphone we found. If you screen. follow us on these uh, different, uh, you'll be the first to know about our cool new stuff that you can grab for free. We tend not to do a lot of, a lot of like direct marketing because that's not who we are. But we post a lot of projects like you like this. Totally yeah. make it with our stuff. Yeah. But so um, anywho. Any, uh, and these will not, not going to work with copper Oh, tape. hey, Pete. No. Guess what? 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 Oh, guess what? You got, got a thing? Can you got, guess what? Ah! <laughs> we, we just got like a gigantic box full of new micro bits in. Version micro 2 micro bits came in the mail today. That's right. Micro bit. Huge right box there. of micro bit boards. Whoop, whoop. Oh, oh, there it goes, little guy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh... We okay. got a bunch of those in the mail today. So, cool. by the way, version two micro. A bunch, what, like ten or twenty? Uh, like hundreds. Oh, hundreds. <laughs> hundreds. Okay. So I spent all of our money on. So Why would we have a camera so we don't green screen? What out are we gonna here. do with all of them? We're gonna use it with our new Bitboard, which I'll show when we go to this oh, camera because it's green. Okay. <laughs> green screen. That's some overhead. Overhead camera. There we go. I'm not in the control. Uh, yeah, with our with our. If you want to do some really fun paper crafts, you can use our Crazy Circus Bitboard which should be showing up next week or so with a new version 2 microbit, which this isn't. This is a version 1. Um, but, yeah, uh, the, yay, fun stuff. That's why I have a bunch of these showing up for Kickstarter backers and people ordering off the website. Let's get to holiday crafty stuff. So um, let's kind of go over the different projects that we've kind of put together over the last couple of weeks, and they're all kind of very similar in the format, but they're all designed to be very super kid-friendly and adaptable. So if you want to, say, change things up a bit or do something a little bit different, you can totally do it. So first and foremost, we've got this bear. Now this bear is a polar bear, yeah. I'm told. Now with a little bit of work, it could be a panda bear, which isn't actually a bear. You just give a little, little panda bear eyes. It could be like, oh, it's a panda. You're like, yes, yes, it is a panda. Right. Member of the raccoon family. So this is like your happy panda. You've also got your angry one-eyed panda. Oh, this isn't. We made this for a live stream yesterday. There we go, like the robot panda. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So this is a pretty quick and easy template. I'm going to show you the directions because, yes, we actually have nice full directions for this. He might so, be angry. Maybe someone stole his Coca-Cola. Possibly. So this is like the directions that you could get, um, that you'd get from us. I print this puppy off on 8.5 by 11. I always recommend like 30-pound cardstock for this stuff. It'll go through most printers just fine, but it's a little bit easier to work with, uh, a little heavier. Just make sure you get like the matte, not, not glossy. Glossy be bad. Gloss does not work with markers. <laughs> but so we have, you know, your basic, how do you do this, your cutout, and your diagram on the back, which we'll be doing very shortly because we're going to have a bear of a time. Ooh, bear. Wow. So we're going to put this to the side. Uh, uh, this is what we use later. We also have a very nice nativity scene because we figured, hey, 
It's that time of year. Uh, so add a little star in the sky. If you want to add some three wise men or three wise astronomers, because uh, you're following That's the star. That's the star of Bethlehem or the Christmas star, as it's called. Very good, Pete. I know. Yeah. I looked it up. I was thinking the day, like, you know, add three, like, famous astronomers down here because the wise men, they, they were Ooh. following stars. They're Ooh. clearly amateur. Can you name three astronomers? Balthazar, Melkor, and... Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. <laughs> I was the, the three wise men. <laughs> Uh, anyway, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Carl Sagan, and Ooh. let's go with Galileo. Oh, yeah. Why yeah, not? I'm going to go old school with him. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. We have, of course, your Randolph, the uh, Randolph. royalty-free reindeer, all the way from Norway. Uh, <laughs> but no, a fun little reindeer one. Again, doing the black and white version of this, printing it off, uh, line art version, so kids can color it. Again, pretty simple, straightforward card. Uh, you want to have a really fun time, you use a blinking red LED on this guy. Ooh. And his little nose is like, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. Beep, beep boop. We have a fun Kwanzaa card. Uh-huh. as a nice cultural holiday here with your Kwanzaa candles. Josh, I have a question for you. Habarigani. That means, like, what's happening? What's new? What's going on? How are you? Well, clearly the Kwanzaa card. <laughs> And we also have, which uh, I'm going to make up later here, uh, we actually have our Happy Hanukkah card. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, Hanukkah has, like Kwanzaa, many candles are involved. We highly recommend not doing all of them with LEDs <laughs> without using a bunch of batteries. Because right. there's a lot of lights to turn on. That's the only downside to uh, trying to light up all the candles. There's a lot of them. Josh, as you probably know, in both of those cases, the center candle is lit first and then used to light the other candles. Uh, I did know that. Yeah. I suppose. Um, <laughs> sweet. So we've got these guys, and we've got a few more we're working on as well um, to have these ready. But I'll show you a version of the like the black and white version. So this would be like on printer paper, kind of what most people probably end up doing. Uh, here's the, the Kwanzaa card without any coloring on it. But these are both just PDFs we have on here. If you print them back to back, you can get your, your little diagram here. They'll mostly line up pretty well depending on your printer. They may be a slightly off, but... Whatever, you, you'll make it work. Josh, um, I think for a lot of these, too, if you if you just printed the front, you can kind of look at the back, you know, and, and get an idea of how yeah. the circuit works. So, and I was saying, yeah. too, like, uh, honestly, for a lot of these, you want to add more than one LED into this mix. You totally could. Yeah. Um, really, two, maybe three LEDs um, is all you should really do with a single coin cell battery before it really kind of just, it, they go out really quickly otherwise. Like, two will last a while, especially with, like, their red um, LED. But if you use, like, a color-changing LED... One to two is fine. Three, just it just goes out really, really fast. Oof. So we're going to make a wonderful Hanukkah card here. And uh, or should we do the bear first? Whatever you want, man. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Okay, where's my bear? I'm make my bear first. Bear. Maybe a bear. But, you know, that's a polar bear. Have you ever seen a Cartesian bear? I mean, that's something a totally. Bear? Yeah, you know. <laughs> the two different coordinate systems are Cartesian and polar, so it's... A... A joke for CMC. I get it. I, I, I do okay. get that. Oh. Uh, thank, thank you, Pete. It was a good rim shot when I said that. So. I'm sure, because I don't have the <laughs> headphones on. So uh, you print this off. I'm just going to go through this, because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, by the way, we are using our wonderful Maker Tape, which is our nylon conductive tape. You can find this in many of our various kits, like this guy right here. Be perfect for friends and family. Good stocking stuffer. Good gift for the holiday. Everything he needs in this box, 30 LEDs, tape, batteries, galore, is the best deal out there for them because our LEDs even have built-in resistors on them. But this maker tape, this nylon tape, is the bee's knees. And you do kind of need it to uh, do some of the extra stuff we're doing on this. Um, yeah, Andy, the recording light's on. The recording light outside of our door. Like, that's why, Andy. Oh, thumbs up. I see you, Andy. Our curriculum writer, Andy, just like, oh, people are doing things in here. Uh, <laughs> uh, but our maker tape is great. It's nice and strong, beats the heck out of copper foil. Maker tape. Hashtag. Solid. Um, so we're using the thicker paper here, uh, this, uh, just so it looks better on camera. I'm going to use a safety pin to uh, poke through here, but like a paper clip also works really well. Uh, if you have thicker, thicker paper, if you're using like standard printer paper, you can poke through the LED legs without a problem. Josh, we got a comment here. Cat Cat's Club. back. Meow. Yeah. They're, just, they're good peeps. They just use some maker tape. Oh, yay. yeah. Hashtag uh, maker tape. Once you start using maker tape, it's hard to go back to, to anything else because it's so nice to use. And I say that as somebody who uses it a lot. So <laughs> we've got our little markings on the back side. And again, depending on your printer, your front and back aren't going to line up perfectly with this. So uh, poke from the front and then just 
use it as a, a guide on the back. So we get positive and negative because the long leg of your LED is positive, the short leg is negative. Pete, do we have a diagram showing oh, that? Oh, sure. We do. We that right there. There we go. Diagram. Look at that. Positive, negative. I know. Important, which in this situation actually matters quite a bit. And if you're only using one LED, just flip the battery around. Life yeah. is good. But in this situation, because we're using two LEDs, want everything to match up properly, you should totally pay attention. So <laughs> we just have the positive going to the outside. So we're just going to do that on both of these. Uh, one. Two bears beats <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. All right. To quote the office. Three Bs. We're going to bend those legs over. So we're making a very, very simple parallel circuit. We have a common negative line and then two positive lines that converge on the top of our battery. So we're going to first do this bottom negative line because I have a piece of tape here that's just about the right size for that. Perfect. Yeah. If you have questions, please, or comments, please put them into the comments field, because otherwise you're like, well, people clearly like our, our shtick. Cat Science Club likes it. Yeah. Us. Cat said young kids were able to easily use the maker tape. The maker tape it's is great. great. Seriously, it's it, like, you can't break this stuff by hand. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's rough to do. Uh, as an adult, it's pretty much impossible for a child. It's also great on fabric. Yeah. We, we've done a few projects on our live stream of fabric projects, like felt which is, again, good for holiday stuff. Now, I'm going way too far on this because, <laughs> as Pete keeps saying, eh, live streaming. That's, That's why right. I can't use my, the demos I make on here for photography because they look so bad. I mean, Josh, there's enough extra. You could have used it for the tape loop there, but, you know. <sighs> <laughs> if only it had, like, 18 more meters on this roll. Josh, do you know Janelle Miller? Well, no, but we do now. She says she loves this. Janelle, I'm glad you love it. These That's are free great. downloads, yeah. along with all the other paper circuits, Unless Crudola, that. we put out over the years. Three-dimensional things, vibrating uh, paper craft projects that move around the table. Shoot, we made little Roombas the other day in a live stream <laughs> with a group um, from Chicago. Uh, so we actually have, by the way, we have a couple versions of this for the holidays we made a while yeah. back. I think we have like a candy cane one. Uh, but anyway, you got so it. we're doing a tape Look at loop. That. Tape loop. The tape loop is genius. Uh, genius. Yes. So our maker tape is conductive on top and bottom, unlike that darn copper foil tape. Ooh. Oh yeah, which is not reliably conductive. I know that because we used to sell it, and we just could. No matter how much we tried, just it's not, not reliable. Yeah. The maker tape is. Like, Josh, who's the inventor of the tape loop? Is that you? I don't remember. <laughs> Was it you, Pete? No. I think someone might have suggested to us, huh. like, hey, you could probably do this. And we're like, wow, that totally fixes works. all of our problems. Yeah. I forget who suggested it. Um, I think you should just take credit. Okay, fine. Josh, inventor of the tape So loop. you just put the tape loop on top of your line of tape there and put your battery, positive side up, on top. Now I got a, a battery holder middle of nowhere. Bam. Yeah. Unlike copper foil, we always, a lot of our old projects, you can tell which ones were done pre-maker tape because they have like a dog ear fold over corner yeah. on them, which is kind of nice as an easy on and off. This is also super easy to do as an on and off as well. Uh, usually with just one LED, so you just peel the entire thing to the side. Mm -hmm. um, but anywho, yeah, the tape loop makes things so much easier. So I'm just going to cut like, whatever. <laughs> whatever. So uh, the same thing can go over here with our maker tape. You can do one, two pieces of tape. I'm going to do a right angle turn because I'm pretty good at those thanks to years of teaching elementary school and middle school. Oh, that's right. Teachers uh, unite with their right angle paper folds. There's certain skills and certain jobs that like are completely meaningless anywhere else, but uh, people tend to pick up. Josh, we learned something about Janelle here. Well, Janelle, if they like copper, copper tape, tape this maker tape will be so much better because yeah. we use it on so many more things, and it'll work in so many more situations. Like seriously, uh, go back and look at some of our other projects uh, because we do fun things like wearables. Adding this to like a T-shirt or a jacket or a hat yeah. is easy peasy. Um, there you go. Bam, one side is on. There we go. I'm do the same thing on the other side, too. And yeah, Janelle, go to our website. We have tons and tons and tons of projects for free up there. Uh, most of them you can do with copper foil. Some of them you really need maker tape for. Uh, but just order a roll. You'll actually end up using far less maker tape than you do copper yeah. foil because you don't screw up as much. And I say that as somebody who's watched kids fail <laughs> so many times with copper foil tapes at uh, maker yeah. fairs and teaching conferences and adults as well. Uh, just, yeah, uh, you end up using far less of it. So there we go. We just made another bear. Ooh. Bam. Nice. It's a bear. I wish I had a bear sound down here. We're going to do DJ Airhorn. That's pretty good. 
you know, I, I'm not mistaken, bears really love raves. They dance <laughs> a lot. Um, yes. That bear is lit. Literally. <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> you can blinking blink LEDs, the bear's like always winking at you, like, oh, winking bear. Ah. Right. Bear. Cool. Cool <laughs> like bear. I love three bears. You know, we have people. How many, do. how many bears? We got the three bears? Are you we kidding me? We got the three me? bears. And one of them's not happy. <laughs> We've got. We, <laughs> We got Mama Bear, Papa Bear, and like possessed nice. bear. This is Halloween. <laughs> Angry Bear. Uh, Zool. Who's knocking at the door, Andy? What's going on here? Yeah. Sorry, dude. We're live streaming. Oh. What's, what's up, landlord? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Take That's okay. Our landlord's stopping by taking a ladder. Keep going, Josh. Ladder. Nothing's Take your wrong. Ladder. Keep going. Pretend he's not That's here. That's your Andy. Go ahead. <laughs> Stop by yourself. What do you got ladder. next, Josh? Bye, Brian. Landlord Brian. Sp- love Steve Spangler. Do you know who Steve Spangler is? Yeah, he does science. Steve oh, Spangler cool. Science. Oh, there you go. Oh, here uh, you go. Make Hold a card. on. Steve Spangler. Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> we'll just stay out of the conversation. You guys can just have. So we're going to make a Hanukkah card now, too. Uh, which we can give my landlord, even though he's not Jewish. Um, <laughs> he's a stop by. Here, we made this for you because he stopped by. Same thing, I'm going to poke through here. We can say color this guy up. Make her fun Hanukkah card any which way. What color are you going to use for this one? I'm going to use... Is green a good Hanukkah color? I, I mean, um, I would say blue or white, but you know. I can use blue. I just always <laughs> use blue because we have a big pile of them here. Um, there we go. Blue! Blue. Yay! And if you want to, again, put a couple more. If you want yeah. to go there. Uh, or blinking red LEDs, so like they're all blinking, like twinkling. S. That's an idea. But I just happened to do it correctly, where I had a positive on the right side, negative on the right side. <laughs> just bend to the side here. Ta-da! And we just got a piece of tape, piece of tape, battery. Yeah. And we're making a Hanukkah card. So, happy Hanukkah to yeah, everyone. All right, I'm excited. Who wants to take part in Hanukkah? I'm um, gonna force you. Yeah. We, you know, we put up our menorah each year and our Christmas tree, and I don't know what else. See, I keep trying to get my my, uh, my spouse to be into um, a new new uh, front door decoration. Yeah, I'm just gonna cut out pictures from t- uh, old teen magazines and make my my wreath <laughs> with a spoon. Oh God, where's the sad trombone or or crickets? I don't even know. Josh, we have a question from a viewer. Is about my Aretha Franklin idea. <laughs> We're losing our focus. Is this, it this is, oh, yeah, because I'm Regular card focus, stock. Auto focus. Um, yeah, this is just, um, this is actually the stuff we use for our packaging because it's a little glossy, it's a little thicker. I want to say this is probably closer to 50 pound card stock. Um, again, I always recommend doing like 30 pound through like regular, most regular printers because at a yeah. certain point, printers can't handle the card stock or it comes out super like rolled up. Yeah. Um, but like 30 pound is good, something that's better than printer paper. Um, that is always my, my suggestion for people. Always better than printer paper. Yeah. Or design your own. Um, always like when kids can design their own card because place a couple LEDs, do this on the backside because it's mm-hmm. pretty straightforward, and then design the heck out of it. Um, usually do decorations first, then LEDs, uh, just because that is uh, a little easier. Oh, I'm so close. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, I got more tape over there. We're going to do a tape loop again because tape loops, everyone watching. People watching from other countries. Uh, Do they have tape loops in other countries? I believe so. I believe okay. the technology has crossed many oceans <laughs> at this point. Even our friends up in Canada. Yeah, it's Le Tape Loop up there. Le Tape I think. Loop? Yeah. Um, <laughs> for the Quebecois? Yeah. Yes, we had to say that's what we're talking about. We had some good. We're good, in Wisconsin. We're not that far from Canada. Good maple syrup nice up people. there. They're very, they're always so nice. Can we trade some maker tape for some maple syrup? Would that work? That's Robin for some maple syrup. She always has some. She won't ship it to me. <laughs> you asked? Yeah. People like, we know, Robin, who like used to make some ago. projects for us. So it's for local pickup only. People won't ship us. <laughs> I think maybe her dad said they wouldn't ship it. I don't know. They wouldn't ship it to me. Kid living in Wisconsin is knowing people who have like <laughs> family with farms, so you can get the hookup on like the maple syrup and stuff. Yeah. Or turkey, or what well, was the right angle there, huh? I always go the right angle because yeah. I have the, the mad, mad tape mad skills. Teacher skills. You got it. <laughs> yes, that's right. Masters in education taught me how to do right angle <laughs> turns on tape. Um, 
That's why I keep paying off that, that student <laughs> loan right. years later. So ta-da, we've got our menorah. Ooh. You can do mon- menorah of, I don't know. Uh, and, there, and look, there's a little dreidel in the corner too, just for fun. Oh, look at yeah. that. Yeah. I, I guess you got a little dreidel there. Put a little dreidel there. Yay. <laughs> so uh, as you know, according to the gigantic Jewish population here in Wisconsin, which we have had okay population. But, yeah, totally. Yeah. We made some fun things up because we, we want to make sure we have something for everybody. And, yeah, I'm working uh, on a Krampus card next. So. A Krampus card? Oh, that'd be really, that's actually very appropriate. It, Glo- glowing red eyes, I'm thinking. You know. that, that's actually perfect. I, I, I'm also like a Christmas tree. We have a couple other like generic holiday ones as well right. uh, for people. So we just try to make a, a wide variety of nice looking cards, uh, which again, you can use our stuff for, or if you have other materials at home, you can probably make these work with copper foil. But why would you? Why would you? Yeah, no. I can see why the clock on our wall is 25 after, which, as we all know, is about when we stop. Um, Did we have anything else to show today or no? I thought we had. No. No, we're good. We're just showing these. Up. So, okay. holiday cards. Well, just holiday yeah, all, cards get them all, yeah, get them all in there. You can get all, all the cards. These are the ones that, that. Like, we just posted. Pete posted these the other day. Uh, and, of course, the bears. The bears. And we have, of course, because <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not that far from Chicago. Yeah, like a John true. Hughes movie, Always Near Chicago. Yeah. Um, da, oh, here. Da bears. Nice. Cool. <laughs> that's, that's a stretch back to the 90s, isn't it? Yeah. Um, anyway, all right. we can put more of these up on our website. They're all free. Seriously, people, if you need like holiday cards and stuff for kids working at home or in your classroom, here you go. Um, if you have some suggestions for other things that you'd like us to make cards of or other holiday crafts of, yeah. If Seriously. we left something out, we forgot something. Seriously, it's another way because uh, most of these cards, like, we just give us an idea and we'll go with it. Um, so we, we try to, you know, make a wide variety so people have choices. Because when it comes down to it, too, for a classroom setting, here's a little teacher thing. Everyone can do their own card or their bear. It's the same project when it comes down to it. They can all make their own thing. Everyone can be happy, do theirs differently, do theirs in their own colors and settings and give Mary and Joseph top hats if they want to be that kid. <laughs> but there's always that kid. And we're like, well, that's fine, little such and such child. Such and such. Such and such. <laughs> in the determinate name, age, race, or, or gender. Um, you know, whoever you want to do on that, as long as my rubric's checked off. Did you make the yeah. circuit? Can you explain it? You know, did you try decorating it? Did you not poke somebody? I always have like, were you respectful to your neighbors, a.k.a. Ooh. did you poke people with a pen? Wow. A pen? Um, appropriate for both high school and elementary school, right. uh, especially middle school. You're pokers. Mm. Um, but yeah, it just it's easy. It's fun. It's they can take home. Special. Oh, the, the Cat Science Club, oh. as always. I think we mentioned this before. Yeah, these are our, come on. These come in our kits. We use. So in case you want to know, which probably don't, LEDs come in different sizes. On the inside, they're all the same pretty much. Um, whether you're using these or little tiny tiny ones, like shoot, we have a here. Here's a here's a. Uh, a micro bit with all these little LEDs on here. These are all little red LEDs. So all these are red LEDs. I can actually zoom in, Pete. <laughs> here, let's like not. Oh, okay, that's as far as it'll go. <laughs> so the difference is just um, the size of the diode, I believe, in here, and then of course the material around it. And actually, I'm pretty sure for all your bulb LEDs, like your five and ten millimeter, which is the diameter of these guys, the internal guts are probably the same on both of these. Mm-hmm. Um, the three millimeters might be a little bit smaller uh, diode setup on the inside, but they're all the same. They all work the same. Um, there's a big difference is the area around it. And typically, for in projects or kits, you might find they'll use a five millimeter or even a three millimeter, which is smaller than this uh, by about 60%. No, yeah. it's only 6% the size, <laughs> three millimeter. There we go. Um, versus the 10 millimeter, because they're slightly more expensive. Uh, I like the 10 millimeter. It's gumdrop size. Literally, it's the size of a gumdrop, uh, which is great for gingerbread houses, Ooh. especially making a gingerbread house out of cardboard, which is way easier for kids to make and decorate something, a little frosting, whatever. Put some candy on there. These little guys are great. And then make or tape it up. Um, yeah, don't use the three millimeters. Please don't use those. Those are <laughs> horrible. They're so small. They are, they are tough to work with. Um, every now and then, like, we have a drawer, like drawers full of parts, just tons and tons of parts from ages ago. We have like little things of three millimeters. And every time I come across a bag of three millimeters in, a, in a, one of our bins of LEDs, I'm like, God, these are tiny. <laughs> these are just so small. And I mean, they all use the amount of power. They're all about the same yeah. brightness. Just these glow better. Um, but yeah, use the 10 millimeters. Now our 10 millimeters, fun enough, we build in a resistor on the head of these little puppies. That's right. We take the extra time and effort and build a resistor in. 
So they actually work better in parallel circuits. Uh, so if you're using more than one color, they all light up equally bright and they use less current, so the LEDs last longer. So we take the extra effort. I don't think anybody else sells a kit because it's one of those little things like you have yeah. to custom make your LED ever so slightly um, and you have to specifically use them. Yeah, order some 10 mils. They, they seriously do the best. They don't cost much more um, than the, the, the five yeah. mils or gosh, the three mils. Just uh, We carry white, green, red, color blue, changing. and color changing. Yeah. I would say almost forgot blue. Yeah. But yeah, color changing, so it just changes color slowly. Now we do have five mils as well that are, are naturally blinking. These guys just blink when you add power yeah. to them, which is handy. Uh, we use those in some of our kits um, and some of our projects just so like our robot will have a blinking LED on it. This is our little robot Roomba. Or if you want to say make the holiday version, your like candy cane candy version. <laughs> um, it's the same project. Uh, but anywho, uh, we have to have a hockey puck too for our Canadian people. Hockey puck, good idea. Or just make this and just color it black. <laughs> just color it black. Um, whatever Canadian <laughs> hockey team your favorite team is. Yeah. Or Wayne Gretzky. Yeah. <laughs> and you can yeah. skate to where the puck is going to be. My favorite Wayne Gretzky joke. Yeah. Uh, if you combine Wayne Gretzky and his brother's total um, uh, goals in hockey, it's yeah. the highest in, in all of uh, hockey history combined. Okay. Uh, his brother scored like one goal. Wow. And that's why it's kind of funny. Anyway. <laughs> Just throwing stuff now. Anywho, right. yeah, the 10 mils are better. Please don't skimp out. Like, spend the extra, like, three cents in LED or five cents in LED to get the bigger ones. It's so much better. Yeah. And it's much easier for kids to manipulate. Like the maker tape, it's an easier thing to manipulate because it's physically bigger. And it's got a little bit extra wow factor, pizzazz. Just go for it. Pizzazz. So please do. Um, so I would say, yeah, we always have those in our kits, like our paper circuits kit. Last little, little pitch here. So in this paper circuits kit, we sell for $25 retail, both on our website through plenty of education and science resellers and on Amazon. Comes with a little roll of maker tape, uh, 16 feet, 10 batteries, and 30 big jumbo LEDs in it. And as well as binder clips as well, because you can use some of those for fun things, little mini binder clips. Um, but we use the, uh, yeah, the jumbo ones, those uh, six of each color that we, we have, which, yeah, you'll have plenty in there. So anywho, yeah, we just highly recommend, highly recommend using the right tools, yeah. uh, the right tool for the right job. That's, that's always what I have to say for education things. The right thing for the right job and everyone is happy. You skimp yeah. out, just seriously go with the maker tape, if nothing else, and then try to go with the 10 mil LEDs. They're so much better. And never, 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 no matter what anybody tells you, never try to use little tiny surface mount LEDs. <laughs> I came across yeah. I came across curriculum yesterday from a university, uh, and I was looking over because it, it looked really nice, nice little book they put together, and it has on there like if you want to use surface mount LEDs, here's how you do it. I'm like, no, yeah, no, no, no. This is this is aimed towards elementary school kids, and teachers. Not that. Why would you ever want to do that? <laughs> and there's a time and place to use little LEDs like these. There there is a time and place. However, doing it on paper crafts is not that time or place. Not with <laughs> kids. Um, and I was, I was really sad to see that because everything else was such good advice in there. But it's like, here's how you do this, using like clear tape to tape them down. I'm like, no, no. these are so small. They're, even you get like the, big, the biggest small version, because there's different versions of how small these are too, uh, ranging from really, really small, yeah. like a chew in there across the room to, <laughs> to like small-ish. Uh, you know who those are for the surface mounts? You know who those are for? Machines. Those are for robots. Yeah, machines. Not you know, you know who makes this? Not a person. A machine does. You know, you know who puts the, the small parts on our, our, our bit board here that we have? For we Microbit? do. Machines. And machines. then somebody else solders these other ones on. <laughs> but like the, the surface mount ones, like a little LED right there. We have a little LED and resistor. No one's doing that by no, hand. No, we're not That's doing bonkers. that. That's bonkers. Robin did a few of those for us. Thanks, Robin, if you're out there watching. Hey, yeah. Robin. She's not. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, all, all, pretty much all of our stuff is on Amazon. Amazon or um, our website, yeah. And yeah, all of our resources. But seriously, big LEDs. Don't use small ones. It's the number one issue I hear from yeah. teachers. Like, oh, you know, blah blah. I paid way too much for these LEDs. I'm like, yeah, you did. <laughs> don't do it in the future. <laughs> Pay less. Get them from us and get the bigger ones. All right, or, that's that's good for the LED done. rant today. I think. That's that's my LED rant. I'm sorry. I talk to so many <laughs> teachers and librarians, and yeah. I feel their pain because there's so much out there. I mean, it's, zoom out yeah. there's so many parts out there i know even for us trying to find like the right part sometimes can be daunting we kind of have a decent idea of what we're doing but just there's so many versions of leds just thousands and thousands and thousands of versions of leds type style shape it just we try to make things easy here's some big jumbo ones with built-in resistors they work great for paper crafts 
putting on the window with maker tape. They even work well in, in fabric-based circuits like we do like this with our maker tape um, for like short-term wearables or kind of one-off fun projects. Yeah. Uh, beats using conductive thread from the guy who sells conductive thread. <laughs> um, nothing against it, but right time and right place for everything. That's, that's the key. Yeah. So on that fun note, I can tell that it's uh, 334, which means it's time to do office cleaning. All so right. On that fun note, adios, everybody. All right. Thanks for watching. Questions. Thanks for watching. Please visit browndoggadgets.com for parts, projects, and curriculum. Follow us on social media at Brown Dog Gadgets. Check out our live streams at Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. We'll see you next time.